Okay, good morning, guys. Uh, it's Sunday today. 6:45. It's a good day. Sun is there, and things are very fine. Birds are singing. Some people are also talking behind the. I just be my staircase. Okay, so let us discuss this problem. Basically, I have to discuss some problem. So there is a charge Q1, and there is a charge Q2. These two charges are positive in nature, and their radius vectors are for this Q1 we have a radius vector R1, for Q2 we have radius vector R2. Now see, mine is fresh. It feels good. Now I have to find a charge Q3. Where should I place a charge Q3 so that the system remains in equilibrium? That is, total force on this is zero. Total force on this is zero as well as total force on this is zero. So what I have to find? I have to find the magnitude of R3 vector as well as direction. So I have to find position vector R3. So this is the vector I have to find basically. and then i have to find what should be the charge magnitude so magnitude of q3 that i have also find so that forces on each becomes zero let me take two three minutes time for yourself do some work and i will wait for your answer so let us do some work make a pause on your computer okay so let us discuss now If you have done some work, then you will able to understand now easily. If you have not done anything, so still make a pause, do again. Okay, so let us say this distance, distance one three is x, and distance two three is y. So this distance from here to here, this is x magnitude wise. This distance from here to here, this is y. So let us say distance one three is x, distance two three is y. So now we can say what is the force that is acting on three? So there will be force one force Q1 Q3 by 4 pi epsilon R square. This will act in this direction because it's negative. So force will be attractive. So one force in this direction Q1 Q3 by 4 pi epsilon X square. In this direction we will have a force Q1 Q3 by 4 pi epsilon by a square. Now since this is an equilibrium of these two forces has to be equal. So if I equate these two forces, that is the force on One is equals to force on three. That is Q1 Q3 by 4 pi epsilon x square is equals to Q2 Q3 by 4 pi epsilon by a square. You see here, on this Q3 there is a force this side. That is the Q1 Q2 this force. There is a force this side. This is the this force. If you equate to these two forces, you will get x by y. So if you equate these two forces, now you have just copy. You will get x by y or y by x. That is q2 by q1 and root. So now you know the ratio between these two. So you know x by. Now you see the position vector of this is r3. Position vector of this is r1. Position vector of this is r2. Now I can use section formula. So if you see, we have Y by x is equal to root q2 by q1. So I can also write y by root q2 is equal to x by root q1. So y by root q2 is equal to x by root q1. Now let us say this ratio is constant and this c k. This constant is k. So now if I use section formula, so position vector r3 will nothing but x r2. So this is x times r2 plus y times r1. So this is the thing which we know. So x r2 plus y r1 divided by x plus y. So this is the section formula everybody knows. And r x is nothing but k times under root q1. Y is nothing but k times under root q2. So if I place the value of x and y, I am getting something like this. Now k k cancels out, so I will have r3 is this under root q1. A vector r2 plus under root q2 vector r1 divided by under root q1 plus q2. So you see the problem is so easy. Now the second part I have to find is what is the magnitude of Q3. Now things are very easy. Now you can consider the equilibrium of either Q1 or equilibrium of Q2 
you will get the value of Q3. So if you have written, then I can go for the next page. If you have not written, let us make a pause and then write and then go for the next page. So you write, keep writing. Now let us consider the equilibrium of Q1. So Q1 is here, you see, you have Q1. So what the force is that is acting? On Q1 there are two forces acting. The Q3 will attract. So this will attract this side. And another force that is acting that is Q2 that will repel. Are you getting or not? So basically on 1 there are two forces. One force is that is attracting in nature due to 3. Another force that is repulsive in nature due to 2. So let us call this is 1. So this is number 1. So on this 1 there are 2 forces due to 3 that is F13 that is attractive in nature. Due to 2 F12 this is repulsive in nature. So I can, uh, diagram, I can show a diagram something like this kind of forces. Now F12 is nothing but Q1 Q2 by X plus Y. So this distance is X. This distance is y, so total distance is x plus y. So q1, q2 by x plus 4 pi epsilon x plus y whole square. This is q1, q3 by 4 pi epsilon x square. So you see I have written here, f12 is this, f13 is this, q1, q2 by 4 pi epsilon x plus y whole square. And q1, q3 by 4 pi epsilon x square. If I equate these two forces, I can get q3. So you equate these two forces, you will get the q3. So let me show you the answer. So if you equate these two forces, Q1, Q2 by 4 plus not X plus by L square. So from here you will get Q3, that is Q2 times X by E. So you will get, if you equate this 4, 4, 4 plus not goes out, Q, Q1, Q1 goes out, so you will have Q3 is this. Are you getting or not? And if you plus the value of X, X is nothing but K times under root Q1 and y is nothing but root k times under root q2. So if you place the value of this, k, k cancels out, so you will have this. So q2 times this value. Now if you square this one, this becomes q1 plus q2 whole square divided by q1 plus under root q1 q2 whole square. So this is the four, So this is the magnitude of q3. And we have shown the system can remain in equilibrium only if q3 should be negative in nature. Are you getting or not? So if you have not written, let us make a pause and then write and we will discuss the next problem. I think you have written, no? Huh? Okay, good. So morning is really beautiful, but we sometimes keep sleeping. Now when you wake up in the morning, you feel a different kind of energy. And you can do a lot of work in the morning. And looking the sunrise, it is especially beautiful. So we are so much engaged in our work. So we does not enjoy the nature. That is the problem of uh, our society or our system. So that we give so much importance to the work. We does not give so much importance to the life. That is another problem. Okay, we'll discuss the next problem. That is also a problem. 